Hello and welcome back to some trucking IS. We are at Richmond here today, one of my favorite short tracks, which um, kind of might sound like an oxymoron, because usually short tracks are not my favorite of anything, because I'm not very good at these and uh, they're a little scary, but I do enjoy Richmond. I've had some great races here in the past, and hopefully this will be another one. We are going to do some qualifying. I don't think my all-time, yeah, all-time optimal, not quite there because um, of track conditions. So we're going to get session optimal ready and see what we can do. I think the temperature of the track has increased since practice, so I'm going to expect some slidey, slidey tires when uh, the tires were already slidey to begin with. Green flag, green flag. Daniel has provided an um, excellent Q setup once again. Let's see if we can do it justice. All right, it's going to be a little bit of an easier lap for me here, first time through. I don't want to spin or get loose, crash myself or anything, so we'll push a little harder this next lap. Okay. That no no having no have oh my gosh sorry I'm trying to speak and it's not happening. That a uh, lack of a run to the line really hurt the lap. But I pushed a little harder the next time, but I'll take it. Just was a a little extra cautious there. Afraid I was gonna spin and uh, crash myself or something. So I'll definitely take that. Right about where we were a little bit slower than my best lap in practice, but P5 is looking plenty good for right now. And, uh, even if we drop a couple spots, I will take it. We could do a practice pit stop here, because the truck really does not like to turn into the uh, pit lane. And uh, you want it to turn because you'll see there are some barrels right there. And you can lose a couple tenths, believe it or not, if you hit those barrels. So, wow, everyone qualified really quick. So let's get our race set up in. Before we forget, I do think uh, there was the potential of a uh, what? What am I trying to say? A pole winning setup there, but just was a little bit of uh, a little easy on it. And that was okay. Track is surprisingly cool. Yeah, it says 97 degrees. That is surprisingly cool considering it's 95 degrees. Air temperature. So that's interesting. I wonder how quickly that's going to rise. It's already rising, so it might rise quickly. <laughs> I think uh, Nick has this set to where it's early morning. And so the track should increase in temperature to closer to real life temperatures because there are limits on what you can set the iRacing to start with but from what I understand the temperature can go up as the session goes on so this number here is probably going to rise even further and we will uh, be sliding around some more so I think maybe that's why me taking the qualifying a little bit easier there didn't pay off I expected this number to be in the hundreds and so I didn't think there was going to be as much grip, so that's why I went a little softer, expecting it to want to come out from under me. But it didn't quite as much. So probably where uh, the guys up here were able to push a little harder, and it stuck for them. And I, I might have been able to do that as well, but that's all right. I am not going to complain about a P5. Nice to be on the inside as well. So I'll definitely take it. And I will uh, rejoin this video here when it's time to grid up. See you there. Alright, we are back and starting P5. Did a little bit of practice there. Kind of got the feel for the race set again. And I uh, actually moved my brake bias back a little bit more and it was already pretty far back to begin with. So, that's uh, hopefully not going to be a problem. 
I just felt like I could use even just a little bit more more turn and uh, even getting on the pit road it felt like you know it's it's tough to get the truck turned down so I was like you know what I, I can probably get away with a little bit more rotation from this probably could benefit me we'll see we'll see how that works out hopefully well but we're gonna take it easy Fahrenheit. 105 laps of full fuel tank so not quite able to make it halfway instead I guess we will be trying to divide it in threes therefore two stops two to green so what will we do we'll do 83 maybe is that how we want to do that? Because 80 would be 240. About 83, I guess, would be optimal. All right, Alan, I'm gonna see if I can do. I don't job. think we're gonna go green the whole way though. Richmond's a little tougher. Sounds good. I have not got this track figured out. Yeah, it's a challenge. And uh, it, it could be difficult, so. Right, good luck, good luck everybody. Yeah, good luck everybody. Okay. Guess I'd better find out what gear I need to be in. Probably second gear, that's what it looks like. I'm a little nervous. Wanna have a good run here. The outside lane actually seems pretty strong. I'm not pushing all too hard though. Got a long way to go. Whoa, a little bit of a bobble up there, it looks like. Getting lots of rotation out of it. I, I like that. Really help us out, I think. Really likes to snap at it too, so I'm going to be really watching out for that tonight. That's your fastest lap. I almost just took Nick out. How do we have. Is that. Okay, no, that's not lap traffic already. Those well, are the leaders. You do. Okay. For a second, I thought we had lab yeah, traffic already. Right. I was really confused. So we're P6 right now. We lose one spot from our starting place, but I am not worried about that in the slightest. Just taking it easy right now. Hopefully have ourselves a good long run vehicle. We've got a little bit of space behind to work with. Just a little bit, but enough to make me feel a bit more comfortable. We'll be nice to the truck. Ah, oh, my internet. It's appearing up there again. Don't want to think about that. Even just thinking about that made me have bad one and two. So I'm paying attention to what I'm supposed to be paying attention to. Looks like it's okay up there. Getting better. Let's just get some laps done. We've got quite a bit 
of time until first stage. Hope I'm not misremembering. It's 4590, I believe. Is that right? Or is it 55110? Uh oh. I'm misremembering, I think. 4590 seems to kind of early. Maybe I'll get the chance to check that. Not too big of a deal. It's not anytime soon, I know that for sure. This is the final race of the regular season. After this, we will be heading into the playoffs, and the standings will flip all upside down, so it's not going to matter that I uh, am the regular season points leader, because it's not 2003 anymore, <laughs> especially not in the truck series, so probably ne going to need to win a race at some point in this series. And that has not happened yet, so we'll see. What about a second behind us? That's nice. Very good racing so far. All green. Seems like lots of patience, at least from where I'm sitting. It'll be really interesting to see how our truck handles longer run you know that, compared to those around us. Looks like Ryan's kind of up off the bottom a little bit up there. Kind of up off the bottom too, though. Kind of just entered a little harder. Still got the turn down I wanted, though. Oh, we got something going on up there. Some movement. There is a lap truck. Okay. This time there was a lap truck. You've just done a 22.9. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Gonna wait around. He's on entry outside. since we will be entering lower. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Whoa, something happened up front there. It looked maybe a like wall hit? I don't know. It's near Cave and Ryan maybe. Some something happened. It feels good though. I feel like I've been nice to it. Got ourselves a nice gap to seventh over a second now. Q bar is still turning yellow. Yes, of course it is. The lap time was at twenty three point zero. Well, it's trying to snap on me on exit. Gotta be careful. Can't do that too much. That is 
let it slide on exit too much or else it's going to want to do it every corner and that's not a very good way to be fast. Especially if the temperature is going to be rising on the track. It's going to be wanting that grip. Truck feels fast. Just letting the uh, laps click off, keeping it smooth, seeing if uh, we get any notable advantage on the guys ahead of us that we could maybe take advantage of. It's really wanting to snap now on the exit of uh, two. Careful. Your last lap time was at twenty three point two. Might be taking the exit of two a little bit too shallow. Maybe if I uh, went out to the wall a little bit more there, I would be able to uh, keep it from snapping as much. Maybe I ought to experiment with that. Uh oh. Sorry, Grady, I, had to get I out thought of Ryan was hitting the wall. I let out a bit there because I thought he was going to hit it. Outside. Clear. He is having some handling issues, apparently. You're back in shape. <laughs> Car outside. Still there. Clear up top. Sorry, that was uh, Alexander, not Grady. Sorry. I would push wide a little bit there, broke his momentum, allowed us to get around. We got Dylan up front, Ryan, Cabe, and then myself in fourth. What time do we want to pit? I came up with 83. That's what I came up with. I guess that's sound. I, just, I feel like there's going to be pit entry caution, though, if we don't get one beforehand. So maybe we go a little bit longer, because this pit road can cause a lot of trouble. Not only is it difficult to get onto in general, but you kind of have to start slowing down while on the track. That could, of course, cause a rear ending, perhaps. Your lap time was 23.3. So maybe we go to about maybe 85 or something. Just to give us our uh, give ourselves a little bit of room. I don't know. I don't know if people are gonna pit that or. It might just be me that's planning to pit a little earlier. Maybe we just have to go for it. 
I do want to win, after all. Allegedly, I'm trying to win races. Okay, don't snap on me. Mm, I gotta be careful. I'm entering a little bit hard. This thing definitely could spin on me if I just cross that line a little bit too far. Tyler's still hanging in there about half a second back. I'm overdriving turns one and two again. Gotta stop doing that. Don't think it's the fast way around. I'm really trying to get myself down to that bottom line. You look at that, look how much faster that was. That's what I'm trying to hit. That's almost a whole tenth better than last lap. Get it down to the bottom. Big wad of cars, or rather trucks, up ahead. Let's be ready right. to get there ourselves. Gabe's going through it right now. That lap was at 23.4. Abe is back, by the way. I guess uh, that is news. I already made note of it before I started the recording, that's why I didn't think to say it again. He's back here for the regular season finale. He's been busy with real life stuff, it sounds like. It's good to have him back. And uh, a familiar sight in our front windshield. <laughs> Not leading right now, though, but it does seem like he's uh, moving forward. Dan on the outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. See if we don't overdrive it into him. Keep it low. Tyler's actually gained back on us a little bit. Though to be fair, we are going through lap outside. traffic. Clear outside if you want to. Really did not to expect to gain so much ground on him right there. Middle of one. A little bit scary, that speed difference, but we were in our respective lanes, so all was good. Cars getting a little bit tight. Like you've just done a twenty-three point five. Feel like I'm holding you up. Okay, got on the gas oh, a little too good. hard. That got Sorry, sideways. <laughs> Ooh, okay, a little scary. Both loose and tight, depending on where on the track I am. That lap was at twenty-three point five. Bit of a challenge right now. That's kind of just how Richmond is. 
It's always going to be loose on exit here, I think. No matter what you do. You've just done a 23.5. Oh, we almost went and got the wall. Jam up ahead, way down low. Come on, man, Gavin. Thank you. Great run so far. This is pretty cool. Outside. Still there. Stay low. Let's up on guy. exit. Clear high. Get around him. Your last lap time was at 23.8. I don't know if I was nice enough to be right front. It's pretty tight. Handling of this thing right now. At least on entry, of course. Like I said, it's always going to be loose on exit, but... I don't know. The answer, Augustin, behind is now 0.8. I have to say what I can change, however, if I do feel like it's getting tight on entry. Okay, Colton, the next car is McFennan. Because I don't want to get more loose on exit. And the thing is, if I enter too hard, it does kind of break loose. And so if I adjust it to oof, speaking of loose. If I adjust it to be looser on entry, am I just going to spin out? That's going to be a whole lot worse. So I don't know. Especially because the track temperature is supposedly going to be going up the whole event. Maybe that little bit of tightness I'm feeling is actually going to resolve itself. Oh no, Alex! Lost connection. I know he was running alright. That sucks. But anyway, with the track temperature going up over time, maybe this uh, this issue will resolve itself with the, tra the changing track condition. I'll regret if I make it looser. Thank you, Dan. Couple lap trucks. Head. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the Keep high. Low, just in case. Yeah. Looks like uh, we had room. Though, you've just done a twenty three point seven outside. Still there. Uh, Gavin, go ahead. Clear outside if you want it. I'm trying. <laughs> Clear him. <laughs> and a yellow. Okay. Single file. Pit road is quite Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cindy just said I'm trying. I yelled, oh shit. Sorry, Ryan. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I tried to stay off you, man. I just, when you turned it back right, I was just there. Oh no, something happened behind us? I don't know what happened there. You gotta come back behind me, Jim. Well, we're yeah. taking fuel yeah. and tires. That was long enough of a run that's, that it's necessary. Damn, are you damaged too bad, Tyler? I don't think so. 
I'm gonna find out right now though. Why well, I need to get caught up to him, that's okay. Pitboxing in 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. Alright, I'm actually going to try to real quickly check the stages. 71, yeah, what do you guys think? Tires It's definitely around. higher than I thought they were going to be. 78, 78. Okay, punch it. I'll have to go with tires. Work that in a second. Line up, single file. Catch the O5 car. If the stage would be a yellow, I would say stay out, but definitely tires, because it's all the green again. 107. Full course yellow. It's all right. I gotta do math. Oh, no, did you get a speeding penalty, Ryan? Yeah, I guess if you enter the pitch 142, it's a speeding penalty. I don't know. Now that sucks. So 190 yeah, to go. The first section is you can divide that in two. In there, it'll get you. 95 laps. 55. Hit again on 155, I guess, if it goes green. Is that correct, I think? One fifty five? Yeah. That should be right. Well we're in P four. That's pretty good. Still lots of race to go. Seventy one forty the stages. We were seventy eight seventy eight on the tires. Even, that's good. However, I noticed Gavin's tires were 3% better on both ends of the truck. So that's interesting as well. We'll be on the outside. The outside seemed kind of like the place to be on the initial start. See how we feel about it when we get started here. It's our open. But according to my calculations... 155 is our next stop at the train station. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. I don't know what your other tires were, but I was at 80-85 on the right, so I think I destroyed my right front. I guess I'm okay. I'm feeling okay with how that went. I definitely yeah, was feeling good so. having been able to overtake Ryan and Tyler. So at the very least I was doing better there. That's Chad 7083. Like. That's probably right. He's on the right front. Me and you had a good battle for the lucky dog. That was fun. Got more grip now. I haven't got a massive run right there. Defend it though. Keeps in track position. I guess just keep doing what we're doing. That lap was at 22.3. The lights just came on. Wait, what? I thought it was 6 a.m. Did they just turn off? I'm confused. It's 2 p.m. and I don't know what's going on. It's 2 a.m. That last lap was at 22.4. Ignore me, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't think right now. I'm too focused on driving.
So we got Gavin behind us, Ryan Carbwile right in front of us. Sorry, Robert. Someone will spin in there, buddy. You can go ahead and go down here below me. Spin it. Near caution, it sounds like. I see smoke. Evidence of such things. Oh, it's Jim down there on the apron. I think he's able to get going. It's like a non-caution wreck. How bad off for you, Ryan? Right on Ryan here. Don't know if we're necessarily faster. Maybe a touch. But not enough to really make a pass right now, I don't think. We don't need to. It's still very early Sometimes in the race, relative to how much we've done, so. Overdrove that. Had to get bit cut down. Exit. Feel pretty good through one and two right now. Leaders are up there, haven't gotten away. Stage one has ended. I was on lap 70. I'm less concerned about that right now, though. End of the regular season. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. Can't make it to the end. You set the tires. What do we do here? Caution. Not closed. sure. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 71. Now React to what they do, I guess. Yeah, everyone's staying out, looks like. Seems about right. We'd have to get to like, I don't know, 140 in order to make it to the end, probably. So we're still quite a ways from that. Car 02, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Didn't hear anyone say anything, so I wonder what happened. Maybe just a self-spin somewhere. Nothing too big. Guess I should be saving fuel. Still in the same spot we were in before. We'll do a practice launch. In case the tires are going to be slippy this time around. Man, it seems like so many uh, pace laps. Not even two to green yet. Guess we have people pitting and everything, of course.
wonder if Nick would uh, shorten it. I know he likes doing that. Guess we'll move our 155 estimate or plan back a couple laps, maybe. Deep Think right, about it. Right. Like 158, maybe. Glad it wasn't a split decision there with pitting. It did feel a little early. Hadn't been going green that long. I could have used one of these stations last night. <laughs> yeah. Talking about uh, yeah, one 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 Lee. Last night. One to go, All Nick right, Tom Bard, get ready. up on the outside at the end of this lap. So we'll be behind Cave, watching Dylan get the launch. Dylan looking to finally get the victory instead of finishing behind Scott, who is not here. Not able to make it tonight. Looks like we'll be okay to, to uh, push hard from second gear. About to go green, stay focused. Dylan's truck's making me want dessert. That looks really good. Post car is off, time to do your job. Inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there at the bottom. Still there, inside. Look at the ground here. P3, your lap time was 23.0. Still there, hold your line. Brian! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thought we might get a caution. I overdrove it a little bit to try to have my nose out in front. I don't think that was all you. I kind of came up a little bit as well. Clear inside. Inside. No, nah, it was all me. I got loose coming out of the corner. Still inside. Clear inside. All right, we clear him for now. Richmond, you can kind of fight on that outside. We used a little bit of tire to do it, though. The lap time was at 22.6. See if we can even keep it, or if uh, I'm going to feel the feel the consequences of that for too long. That was at 22.6. And another caution. See, now we're going to be on the inside. I'm going to have to fight him off. If we didn't pit before, though, definitely not pitting here. Would make no sense. So we're still staying out. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car two thousand and five. Pace car is out. Getting close, though. Ladies, we know about hitting. So kind of making it. I guess maybe not. He's <laughs> still got quite a few laps to do. Closer, still not quite close, I guess. Been playing games. Hey. <laughs> what is the field looking like? How many people on the lead lap? We're gonna get a lucky dog here. 
Presumably would put 21 people. Hope I didn't hold Ryan too tight on that restart there. You kind of have to here at Richmond, especially going through turn two. Because if you're on the outside of turn two, you really have to make sure you're getting enough turn down so you don't go flying up into the wall. And so that means I kind of have to run a little bit lower than, you know, maybe I would like. I would like to give more room. But I have to make sure I don't uh, ricochet off the wall either. We had a really good long uh, first run. Getting a couple cautions now. Not too surprising, given that, given that the field has uh, bunched back together a bit. Hopefully we can get another long run in, though. Nice to have the track position, that's for sure. Wouldn't want to give that up. So that's why I'm not trying to do anything crazy, pitting in there or anything. Just to keep in line right now. I don't have this muted, do I? Nope. Everyone just being pretty quiet. So we'll try the inside this time, see how that works. Ryan might be able to get back around me. Maybe I can get a good enough jump to prevent it. I'd have to get clear really quick, I think, but I think more than likely he'll have something for me up there. Just like I kind of held on that last restart. One left to green. Line up on the inside. And if it does seem that way, I think the best course of action would be to uh, find a way to get clear so I don't lose more spots. I'll have to negotiate that with uh, some foresight of what's coming up next. For example, Chuck or Nick or Nicholas or Johnny. Did Gavin pit? I swear Gavin was just there. Nick wasn't there, I don't think. It's cool to see him making his way forward. He's gonna be able to hold on out there. Still there. Keep low. Right. P4. Okay, Hunter. The next car is car one. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Uh, we're just watching him get away. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Who lifts off? I don't know. Should I left lift off? So equal. I don't know, man. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Still I kind of want to let him go, but I just I don't know how I'm going to do that. Keep low. Clear 
I feel like that probably wasn't great for us fighting side by side for so long, especially to get nothing out of it. I, just, I couldn't find really the right time to let him go without risking uh, breaking all my momentum and then having Nick get by and who, who knows who else. Too high on entry there. Truck's already feeling tight a lot earlier than it did last run. Don't think that's going to be good for us. Well, completing 99 laps here, heading to lap 100. I looked up at pitting in and I almost hit the front stretch wall. That's kind of not good. For some reason, whenever Jim said pitting in, out of my periphery, it looked like it was blue text. I'm like, someone's sending me a message specifically? What is this? And no. <laughs> it's just a pity. Oh my gosh, no grip. That was weird. I might have murdered my tires. Yeah, I'll get you by me, Ryan. I wonder if the track's getting hotter, too. Getting a little more slick. Could be. driving just a bit. Carrying too much speed by the time I get to mid corner. That lap time was 23.0. Yeah, definitely. That was way too much speed right there through mid corner. Might have to let Nick by. Truck does not feel that great right now. Don't overdrive it this time. Great pass, Dan. Damn it. That was a little bit better. Still didn't feel that fast. A little bit better, though. I'm stinking in one and two right now. And I feel like that was a strength of mine in the first run. Might be where tires matter the most or something. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Nick was about to get a run on me. Probably pass me very soon. That was unfortunate. Got another wreck. Can take tires. Can we make it to the end? No, I don't think so. Pace car is out. I think we have about 110 laps on a full tank. Yeah, there's a truck. Truck destroyed. 
Oh, Gavin in it? Yeah. Oh, oh Gavin is in it. The truck's destroyed. That sucks. No luck for Gavin here. Pull up, pull up. Go to the pace car. Pull up to the pace car. Please. Watch your speed. Oh, are you petty? We'll need to stop again. That sucks. Pit box team. Ten. Five. Three. Well, two, one. one. Right here. Too far right. Jesus. Yeah, I'm blaming this one on you. 89-89. I'm surprised to see that. I thought it was really bad on my right front. 104, yep. 105 right, laps. Move it, move it. They want you in single file. Okay, Nick's out in front of us. Because I was too far right. I hope that we don't have a late race yellow. A couple guys Sorry. didn't pit up there, I guess. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely not making it to the end on fuel still. But I think it's really going to be nice to have these tires. Use about half our sets about halfway through the race. I think that sounds about right. Less and less chance for caution, potentially, too, with less guys in the race. I'm happy with that decision. We'll see how it works out, though. Yeah, so Cabe and Dylan did not hit, it looks like. Oh, the O2 did not pit either. Or, that wow. That was a good battle there. Or the 33. Uh, the we got a couple of people that did not pit. Top four. Wow. Yeah, I think the outside's coming in. On the bottom, you don't have a drive off. The P3, the guys, guys that did pit. The outside always win. It would be very, very interesting. Yep. I mean, I feel like I'm faster than you, but I never could get a good enough run off the bottom to get you. I plan to pit on 180, that I guess. That was the plan. About 182, probably, actually. I was doing the same thing with uh, Stefan. He was trying but, uh, to do seems like there's plenty of cautions, so I so we'll just have to adapt. Before we had the first caution, and he couldn't pass me neither. One to go. Next time by. Okay, Line up on the inside. Ready. Nick's going to be on the road ahead of us. We're going to be on the inside. Not really a great place to be. I think the outside might be the place to restart. But we have a whole lot of people on older tires ahead, so. You're going to want to go to the outside, Dan. I've got massive engine damage. Older tires up front, too, so expect maybe a little bit of a slower launch. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. V6, you're on the bottom, three wide. Car outside, two wide. Go low. Go low. Okay. Clear outside. Inside. Still there. Come on, where's the yellow there? Still there, inside. Clear inside. Get back in fear. Black was at 23.1. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Alright, we survived that. Gotta get around those older tires. Wow, okay, that drifted out of the corner. Did not expect that. I haven't felt that much of looseness on short run like that. Gonna have to be more gentle.
Get around some of the some guys. Trying not to go three wide, and the car below me and the car beside me just kept on coming. Uh, I think we were three wide there. My spot had never said we were three, so I'm sorry. I don't know if these guys are gonna change their mind. Yeah, I couldn't go any higher. I had a car on the outside of me, so I was off the throttle, but it wasn't enough. Okay, they are changing their mind. So they're going to end up at the back, though. That's not going to be great for them. Fortunately, we will be P3 on the inside. See what we can do with it. I don't know, though. I think, uh... I think for those guys, maybe you wanted to stay out and just accept the advantage you yeah, have of a tire set. There, I don't know. Maybe they just felt it was way too dangerous. Now they're going to be all the way in the back, and there's been plenty of cautions to have to dodge. Stask uh, Gavin. Probably not the place you want to be back there. Nick leading the race, though. We'll follow his subway machine off the, off the rip. I will try to follow you through. That's going to be very, very dangerous. Hoping that would have went about 10, 15, 20 green, and then we bit. We could get some quick cautions because we still got different tires all throughout the field. See, like uh, Grady back there on old tires, just sandwiched right between guys that have fresher tires. As far back as I was thinking. No, not too bad, but... 14, 15, yeah, that's not that bad. Right Been enough people in wrecks, I guess. It's going to be fun. Their tires are going to be essentially equal to ours, though. Because we didn't really do any laps. Just barely any laps there. Closed. Pit road is closed. It's closed. Save fuel, but it's uh, not going to make much of a difference. Still, we'll have to pit. Still planning on coming in at about, hmm, I guess 185 now. I guess that would be the plan. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Coming in this All right. Time. Got Brady behind us. He's one of the guys on older tires, so maybe we'll have some uh, some space. Hopefully, hopefully, we don't lose a spot to Chuck, but it could very well be inevitable. We're not even halfway. Don't forget. That is true. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off, time to do your job. Oh, Nick likes his green, early green, jumps. Back in third, keep hustling. So we get a good launch. Car outside. Keep low. Stay low. Up We're just going to let him go, get in line, not going to fight side by side. Pinched him a little bit by accident, I was just trying to uh, fall in behind him. Dave, you're insane. Yeah, I know. Dave's insane. Knows it. I didn't even mean to really try to do it. Just kind of was way too quick. Maybe 
took it four wide or something. No idea. Okay, Colton, the next car is car one. The yellow flag is down. Line up. Oh, these short runs. What happened now? No idea. Still don't feel like there's any laps on these tires, though. Problem is, there's no fuel in it either. Not saving as much as we need to, even with a bunch of cautions. The pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number. So oh, I just had the fire caution. Pits are closed. More and more people getting taken out. Unfortunately, it's gotten pretty messy. Pit road's open. Pits are I open. think we kind of teamed up on that. I got a little loose and came down, and you seemed to kind of come up. Those guys survive it back there, Cabe, Dylan. It seems like it. Pretty wide going to the corner. So I'll just try to give him space. Chuck just pit. It's interesting. We can't make it to the end, I don't think. Ah, Nick's going to be all over me in the video. I've been involved in the last two yellows. I just haven't crashed. Chuck just left. Chuck's not having it, I guess. Can't you still give him spankings? Car 16, got the lucky dog, let the huh. past on the outside. Nah, he got too big for that about 30 years ago. Maybe, uh, Chuck had something come up. Yeah, sorry James, I don't know how close that was. I thought I gave a lot of room, but I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I thought you were just plumb well, crazy on that start no, there, Cade. Diving it in three wide. It was indeed 3-1. He is crazy. That's why it makes him so good. We're all crazy to sit on this damn thing for two and a half hours. Yeah, I got I got an okay start and I started going. I was like, I by the time I got there and to the line, I was already underneath someone. So I'm like, oh. Yeah, you were underneath me on that. We are yeah, just now getting halfway. The bottom line, so stacked up. Yeah, I think I hit the back of Robert, or maybe it was you, James, but center corner, everybody was kind of coming up on the Ooh, stage. Yeah, 140. Break. Interesting to see if we could James, get I the stage the, point, but uh, get the past two very fast trucks. So. On the outside when he got the front stretch. Not sure that's going to be possible. Yeah. I'm just trying to go. I'm stuck on the inside again to me, too. So I can get out in front or. You're stopping to stay in front of him. That boy is cleaning tonight. Closed. We're under caution. It's closed. Still don't feel like we've used these tires at all. <sighs> Q bar, stop it. No more. As long as it doesn't get worse than that, I guess we're fine. Johnny in the 26 going to be on our outside trying to take P3 from us. Alex on the inside. He's starting behind us. Everybody around us has the same tires at this point. Yeah, my toes out. Uh, but the grease. One to go. Next time by, you'll okay, be running up on the inside. At the end of this lap. Chad, pass me high on the start. We'll see if Nick uh, does it again. He'll, he'll probably want to jump early still, just because he wants green flag racing. But he might switch it up. Wait a little longer. I bet he wants to spread the field out, though. Post carries off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Yeah, you come up. I'm about as bad as you. You are. Able to clear him, that's good. Alrighty. Yeah, I think our damage is insane. 
Yeah, it looks like it. That was a 22.8. Love to try to get a stage point, but I just I don't think it's going to happen. You know, this point. has not been very good to me. You know what I mean. In this championship. But I don't think I can get there. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. Yeah, you have If they fight though for the spot, maybe I can take advantage. Let's see what happens. Jim, go ahead, go around. Went way too slow through one and two there. I parked at mid corner for no Tyler, reason. Tyler. Hi everyone. How's it? I'm just riding around too. I got in check My wife <laughs> says hi. <laughs> that was a hello and run. Comment uh, below if you watched Oppenheimer. Oh my god. I'm going to turn wheel towards the wall to go straight. Okay, that was bad. Okay, we're going to get past now. Put some socks on and then your toes won't be out. That's okay. Okay, we're fine. Heated up the tires. We almost had our own nuclear explosion. Get together though. Wow, that really threw me off. <laughs> we'll try to get back some of that room that we lost. I don't think I'll be able to follow them through if they get side by side like from back here. I think he's close to making a move on him too, Ryan is. He's very... He's all over his bumper. But we lost like a second to him, getting all slidey. Gabe's behind us now. He's got fresher tires. And more I'm speed, so not going to take him long to get up to and past us, I'm sure. Lap time was at 22.7. Uh, loose on exit. Got myself pushing a little bit. It's interesting though because we're getting a little bit closer. Not close enough quite yet, but. Quite there. I don't think even if we get near him, it's gonna matter because Cave's gonna pass us. He's gonna get the stage if if anybody, other than Nick. But we're coming to the uh, stage ending lap here. Not gonna get scared by a cave. He has to be alongside if he wants me to give him a land. White flag for stage number two. There's a use of upper. Line up the oh. through one and two. Can he Nick at the, the apron a little bit? He's looking underneath him side by side down the back straightaway. I'm gonna land up in case something happened. Stage. Who's it gonna be? Oh, oh. oh he taps him. Car inside, the next car's the leader. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Okay. Still there. Car ahead, yes. Still there at the bottom. I don't know about you guys, but I hope my health has it. Stay high. Still there at 
Yeah, I'm getting ready to pull it in, I think. Uh, Nick's a little slower on the outside lane. I think he's trying to back off. Yeah, I don't think you need to get anything to say about this thing. I'm going to run my way. I think he was pushing hard just for that stage and he's trying to back off now. And unfortunately, I was following him in that lane. Still there. Clear. Now Dylan's back up here. Back in third. I'm going to go right here. Yeah, they're coming pretty fast. We'll still get stage points both stages here, so it's alright, even if we didn't get the win. Really wish I had some playoff points, but it is what it is. Dylan coming up on us now. Also on his fresher tires. Not going to hold him up too much. That traffic up ahead holding the bottom line. It's a little scary. Maybe he'll go high up in uh, turn one, though, once they actually get a little closer. Maybe not. It's pitting in, so that's why he's holding it on the bottom, I guess. Gabe trying to claim the lead. Yeah, I'm getting ready to as well. I overdrive it really bad. Side by side. Cape shouldn't have too much trouble getting by him, I don't think. Pressure tires and all. Although the outside lane does have quite a bit of fight in it. Can be tough to get it done. I'm having some trouble keeping it stable on exit. Ripping it into turn one and two as well, which is not helping. I'll give it to him if he gets alongside me. Otherwise, I'm just not going to accept a dive bomb. He's not doing it, though. He's race clean. He's good. Very tempting to dive bomb here. Happens constantly in official races. That's why sometimes you can't go two laps green here, because people are just constantly running each other over into turn one, especially. And Ryan, the way that you got cocky. Oh, this truck is so nice right now. Away. I'm sorry about that. Car inside. Clear. There. Still there. Is. Still there. Hold your line. I'm going to make him fight. Clear. Well, no. I'm going to go high in one and two. And Still inside. Here's the guy. Uh, we got a bit of a runoff though. I'm gonna make him fight so he has to use his tires. We have a lot of deficit behind us. I'm not gonna catch up to Cade. So he's gonna hate me for this, but. If there's a chance I can hold him off, I'm gonna go for it. Around me. All right, he's by me. Made him work for it a little bit. You can go lower. Try to even those tires as much as I can. 
we're still 1.9 to fifth place, which is ex exactly where we were before, so that accomplished what I wanted, I think. Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> He's probably frustrated I fought so hard because he wants to go try to catch Cabe up there. And obviously he does not want his tires to be used up on guy on older tires. But that's what I felt like I needed to do to have a chance. I don't think my tires are going to have anything though. They're kind of falling apart here. Where did Nick go? Did Nick hit or something? The gap in front is increasing. I have no idea where Nick is. Is he doing some crazy strategy? Yeah, he pit. We're actually kind of at pit time, aren't we? No, we're not. 180 something is what I calculated. 188 is my current plan. He decided to way undercut it. Inside. Very, very interesting. Clear inside. Default. We're gonna keep our plan to 188. But get a caution anyway. I'm pitting here, Gregory. Pitting. More guys pitting. Guy coming up with fresh tires to let him go. Still pretty far back though. Outside. Go low. Clear. Uh, I wasn't sure where he was going to be. Go low. Clear up top. The bottom. Car inside. Stay high. Clear. Okay, we got that done. Seconds. Thought I saw smoke, but it was just the grandstands. I'm spinning. Oh, that didn't feel good. Hey, now, Nick. The is now 2.2 seconds. That last lap was a 23.8. Yeah, I'm not trying to pass this, so. All right, well, hopefully we get green until it's time for pits. Hopefully it goes green to the end. I do want to see how this works out. Those guys ahead are really getting away, though. It's impressive that Ryan has been able to stay up there like that. Because he's on the same tires as us. He's done a much better job with them, I think. The gap in front is now 2.4 seconds. That was a uh, 23.4. Interesting to see when everyone else pits. Here comes Nick. His fresher tires. Take it, care. It's going low. Thank you, thank you. Inside. Still there. Inside. Clear. Okay. Negotiated that.
Got so much more drive out of the corner with those fresher tires. The gap ahead is now 2.5 seconds. Your lap time was 23.6. Really interesting to see how that works out for him. Two sets of tires left. Got more fresh tires coming up, and while I'm looking at that, I'm nearly wiping out. Just have to be aware of what's around me, and I see Rick coming up on much fresher tires. Tyler has run into trouble somehow. He was right up near the front earlier. It's too bad. Big cluster of trucks up in front of us. Lots of different colors too. Colorful trucks. Hey, green, blue, red, orange. Oh my god, I'm spinning again. I just love looking at everything except for my racing line, don't I? Looking at the pretty colors spinning out. I don't know, maybe we come pit earlier than I uh, even expected to. That was uh, a 3.7. Oh my gosh, overdriving, overdriving. Maybe I should just because I'm really falling apart here. Track position does matter a whole lot. Cautions can happen too, though. Very difficult decision on when to come in. Get on the bottom. Don't even need to tell him because he's just gonna go get it. Still there at the bottom. Thought he was definitely gonna grip up enough, fly past us. Very surprised he was not able to get that done. Keep high. Please do it. Please go by me. Clear inside. Trying to. Stay high. You've just done a twenty-three point nine. Keep high. Clear. Alright, we're good, we're good. Just getting straight. oh my god. I haven't seen a pit entry like that before. That got me nervous, I thought they were wrecking or something. The car behind is pitting now. The left time was the I think we pit. Front is there. Hold your I don't want to announce it though. I think we get another lap, get a little farther from Tyler, and then we pit silently. Oh no, though, what if they wreck? What if they wreck? It's so difficult to say what to do. You know, I'm going to stick to my plan. I'm not going to deviate from my plan. I'm not going to let it sway me. Stick to my plan. I did the numbers earlier. While I was in a more calm state of mind right now, I'm kind of panicky, stressed out a little bit. Why would I be thinking better now than when I was back then? <laughs> maybe more information? I don't know. Maybe that's the truth, or maybe I just need to stick with it. I certainly am getting very loose in the corners, though. Getting tight in the corners too. Anyway, it's just not here anymore. The gap in front is now 3.9. Whoa, a little loose up there, maybe. See, this is a time where a lot of guys could be uh, wrecking too, though, with all these different speeds on track, different conditions of tire. I 
mean, we still got 70 laps to go, so that's a lot of time. I think I'm just going to remain calm, pit when I plan, things work out as they will. People pitting in, it looks like. Got eight seconds to the next guy behind us. Don't spin. Dante coming off pit road there. He's going to have fresh tires and zoom away. All right, Colton, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Number 67, pit man. 67, pit man. This thing's certainly having a difficulty right now, though, this truck. Ooh, we he's having a difficulty in front of us as well. Tires coming up on us. The gap in front is now 4.6 seconds. There's a car exit in the pit, heads up. That lap was at 23.7. Go ahead, Dante. Awkward uh, well, situation. Buddy. Alan coming out. Should be fine though. I'll have, have fresh tires. Okay. Good. by here. Oh, I'll let you buy low here. Car inside. Still inside. Clear. The gap in front is now 5.3 seconds. Car outside. Outside is speak. clear. Hit road. Thank you, Timothy. We'll need to stop again. Thanks, Ked. Pit box team, 10. Yes, yeah, sir. 5, 3, 2, 1. Don't be too far Five, right, yeah. apparently. Stop. 74, 75. I'm hoping they don't notice me down here. So we're not going to say anything. kind of feel bad uh, not telling Tyler. I was hoping it, it would be kind of noticeable. We're done. Get going. See Michael, Alright, we'll see how this works out. How did Wiggins get disqualified? Huh, that's interesting. Heard that on the radio. So unfortunately they come in and pit, they must have noticed me down there. Or they don't care and that was when they were gonna pit anyway, because they did the same math as me. I'm sure they actually don't care about me so many seconds behind now that I think about it. A car rejoining in front. But we'll see what we can get out of this. Hopefully we can get on the lead lap. Not too long. No idea how this is going to cycle out. Is Nick going to be in the lead for a while because he undercut so hard? 
Go ahead, Jim. It's Dylan. He's still Shit, two fuck. seconds ahead and on fresh tires. He's been much better than us this race. All good. Okay, Colter. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. You guys coming out of the pits. The next car is car one. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still inside. Oh, I want to fight for this. I really do. Seventh position. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear inside. Still inside. Clear. Car inside. Still inside. Clear Sucks. inside. V8. Gap two. Outside. Ahead is now. Sorry, Paul. Your last lap Clear time high. was at 22.6. You're good. That's not your fault. He just got used as a pick. Nothing he could do about that. Thanks, Robert. Oh my gosh, what a cluster up ahead. Outside. How does this not turn into a wreck? Outside, oh my yeah. god. Look at that, all of that ahead. Big yikes. Holy smokes. Keep road. The yellow flag is out. Right. Oh boy. Keep road is closed right now. Yep, I figured that was going to be a wreck. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Are we on the lead wow. lap? I think we are. I don't know if that was my fault. I was just trying I mean, to people are on the high line, stay out of the way, and I kind of got hit from underneath. So if that's my fault, I'll own it, but I don't think it was. I'll take responsibility for it. There are not many yeah, people. Yeah, I was just trying to stay out of your way, and like, I saw you coming, and I was trying to hold it up there, and you so touched, and I don't know if that's what caused the other car to spin, so. Do we come I mean, to the tires? Ball, my bad, too, so. Pete Road is now open. It's are open. Hell, it's pretty wide left and right, man. Fun as hell. Bound to happen. I spun, no problem. <laughs> battle there's a lot cars and me and Dylan trying to get through I think I'll do the Holy opposite of whatever they do ahead the leader's pitting now yeah okay, cave I did not need to block you or anything there I was just leaders trying to hold the high line and you were fast yeah, I was like, holy crap, everybody just go in and I'll stay out I guess we'll see how this works I'll have another set in case we get. I mean, I'm just shifting, like trying to hold. Late caution. Beat the attrition. That's all. I think this is the best option for us. Yeah, I got in the back of. Our laps are only four so laps. Our tires there. are only four oh, laps older than the break guys' head, so it's not crazy. To back up or so, whoever I hit, I apologize. Crazy different. That's all. Now we get in the way. We'll be P3 now. Oh, hell, it's like rush hour traffic. Fun. And we'll have a set of tires for later, just in case, because we still got over, you know, just about 50 laps to go. So, oh, this will be interesting. It's just people trying to find a hole to get out of that big pile of cars. I mean, there was nobody around me, and then all of a sudden, 10 cars. I I don't know what the hell happened. Well, you had the main leaders pit, and then they were behind us, and then they started catching all of the everybody, and everybody started running side by side, slowing each other down, and there they come. Yeah, I think everybody came out at the same time, too, right? About a lap or two apart. Yeah, all the leaders kind of came yeah, in at the same time, and then we're all... It could be, just bound to happen. No big deal. Racing really hard. There's a powder keg ready to blow. I was going to a little bit of a break. My wrist was starting to hurt. Johnny behind us is still out. He's on 
much older tires. Things could be starting on our outside. I'm dying right now. I think we should be able to handle that. Nick's on fresh tires. Directly behind us. At least we got caution for this race instead of like um, yesterday. How come all of a sudden everyone loves cautions? I thought that Nashville Super Speedway race was awesome. I think it kind of stunk that it got some cautions to, at the end. I mean, obviously I benefited from it staying green. But I'm going to do a pass through so I can just stay the hell out of the way, everybody. Come down to it, I guess. I don't feel like my tires are that bad. Nick's is going to be much faster, though. Not going to fight him too hard when he gets alongside me eventually. But I don't think it's going to be too terribly different. I like having this extra set of tires. With how many cautions we've had this race, we might benefit from using them. Could be dangerous though. We have to be very careful. Ryan, you guys still got an extra set, right? Yeah. Right. Time to do your job. Back in third. Keep hustling. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Nick scared me, man. I thought he was gonna. Take that three wide. Almost made me crash. Uh, that's probably what he wanted. I really don't mind letting him buy. Just kind of prefer to try to get it on exit instead of diving it in. Dylan's coming up now. He's got it. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. V3. Still there, inside. Still inside. Clear inside. Oh, not quite able to hold on, it's outside there. Gotta try to make them use their tires if I want to benefit from a late caution. It's gonna get me on exit here, I think. Inside, clear. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. I don't think he's going to have much trouble getting around me. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. The car inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear. <clears throat> Dang it. Yeah, he just didn't have much trouble there. More fresh tires behind us. Ugh. I'm driving way too hard, I think. Drives in there. It's not alongside. 
there, hold your line. Clear inside. That was a 22.9. gonna wreck me man oh no he's gonna get wrecked apparently whoa he got uh, either loose or tapped from Ryan not sure which one you both oh. try to hold on to as much as we can though in case we don't get this caution we need. B5. If I were Gavin, I'd be terrified right now. I love hitting the back of his truck in this series. And I don't have the caution tape behind me to warn people. Didn't get a good exit. Man's gonna be there. Keep high. Still there, we'll guide. Six plus. You just do there at the bottom. Keep high. Gonna try to hold on to it as much as we can. Go ahead, Doctor. Time was twenty-three point two. Thank you. Still there. The game is to try to make him use his tires. Thirty-one to go. Get back in the pit. Stay high with the car on the low side. Keep high. Still inside. Clear. The car inside. Ah, that was a bad exit. Still alongside though. Still there, inside. Stay high. Ah, uh, my tires are giving up too much. Clear in these sides, inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Ooh, hard racing. I'll go high here, guys. Nick King coming up. Gonna make an attempt on us, I think. Not quite able to hold off Ryan. I think uh, Nick Wing got loose again, maybe. So he fell back a little bit. McLennan is leading the race. We have 26 to go. Caution soonish would be perfect timing for us. Inside. 
Oh, what a run he got. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. Car inside. Thanks, sir. Still there at the bottom. Be no problem, sir. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Gonna fight some more. Again, the goal is not to hold on to the position, but make them use tires so that way, if we get a late caution, our tire advantage is as big as possible. No, we're not gonna hold on to the spot. But the longer and harder I can make them work, the better. Not sure what happened with Rick on the entry there. Still there at the bottom. So all of a sudden really off pace on the bottom. Allows me to get alongside Still Nick again. Surrounded by Nick's. You've just done a 23.5. Still there. You're up top three wide. Where right was side, it? Two wide. Clear inside. Inside. Keep high. Stay high. Damn, Colt, you're hard fast. Sixth place. Keep high. I know I'm being a pain in the butt right now, I'm sorry. No, I'm having a blast. You didn't hear that Ryan Newman drop. Still inside. <laughs> Yeah, that part comes to my mind. Clear. Car inside. I get the Ryan Newman moniker of the race currently. Uh oh. Stay high. Okay, Colton, you're really Stay high. You're in the middle. Three wide. Three. Hold your line. Inside. Ooh. Two wide. Still there at the bottom. Well, that's one way to do it. Still there. E7. That lap was a 24.1. I ran into the left car just Clear. Car inside. <laughs> I'm working so hard to do this right now. Still there, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Keep high. Clear inside, car inside. Stay high. Nick is gonna inside. murder me, man. <laughs> Nick King. <laughs> I'm holding him up so bad. Stay high, there's a car on the He says he's having fun, but <laughs> I feel pretty bad. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. Oh Jesus, the tires are... <laughs> uh, the tires are just absolute roasted right now. Ooh, that was some hard work. We got 15 to go. Really need that caution to come out. Guy okay, being slow on the bottom for some reason. Coming up on him. I guess there's no great place to be a lap truck here. So we've had a couple of scary moments. Guys on the outside as well. Inside again, it looks like. Car inside. Clear.
Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna be hold on be able to hold on to seventh if this goes green. I think Nick has a great shot at me. The driver in front of us is winning. Just trying to focus. We got 10 to go. We really need the caution to come out now, preferably yesterday, if we want an advantage from it. Or for it to do much for us. I know there's not very many people on the lead lap, though. SRX has fun, top of fun yellows. Anybody want the fun yellow? No. That lap was out for 3.7. Lap times are pretty consistent. I'm like, I got an extra set waiting for me in the pit. It's calling my name. It still has another Same set here. of tires. I don't believe I can do any better with an extra set anyway. I don't know where I was coming out of the pit, but I might be able to get Dylan if it came out now when I had like three laps. But it's over now. I'm wishing I had my last set of tires on my truck right now, because I don't know if we're going to get that caution we need. They're drifting through the corners at this point, it feels like. Terrible run out of the corner. Five left to go. In fact, I would say I had pretty much none. Car outside. Outside is clear. Oh my gosh, there's nothing left in these tires. Oh my gosh, these laps are feeling like eternities, man. I really gotta focus so this thing doesn't spin out on me. It's wanting to spin out at just about every point now. Oh, I think they might have me here. Still there at the bottom. Stay high to the car on the low side. Uh, I'm gonna fight it. Do to go. Clear. Is he going highline to get a big run on me? That might work. I thought where is Stan going? Okay. Inside. Clear inside. Lap time was Go ahead, Ryan. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Can we hold on for one more lap? Inside, one more to go. The captain, Renick, in front is still there. Inside. inside. Still there. Ah! <laughs> clear inside. A little clear one last time. Keep it smooth. Can we hold on to seven? I was hoping for a yellow. Oh, I'm in front. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Seventh place? Seventh place. Well, I tried. That was fun, Colton. Race check again, third. Chicken flag, chicken flag. <laughs> Yeah, good race, man. Sorry to be the Ryanist Newman no, since the man himself. No, no, that was good for me. 
I locked it. <laughs> the plan was to make guys use their tires up, so I had a good advantage to use my last set, but never had the chance. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. Good win. Yeah, good win, Dylan. Yeah, Colton, we had like four or five good laps side by side of this one. Good job. Yeah, fun racing. Whew, all right, so that was tough. Yeah, I thought I could get it to where it's right run out of running the high side, but I was wrong. Oh, fingers feeling sore. We were 75 75 at the end. That feels pretty good. I'm happy. I think if that cost came out that. like, I don't know, five or six laps later, Nick probably would have won it because he had the strategy perfectly. Eddie now. We inch I really I'm really er interested to see Nick's video. He had a very different strategy going out and it clearly really worked for him. He too finishes ahead of Cave. Dylan gets his win finally. I believe that's his first win. No Scott here to <laughs> take it from him. We'll get seventh, not too bad at all. We'll definitely take that. Short track short tracks are not my specialty, so to get a top 10 here, very solid finish. I'm very happy. Uh, even though I still really wish I could get that win, but, you know, it wasn't going to happen here, I don't think, anyway. But uh, that'll be your regular season. Very fun and uh, very good race. See if we got that caution at the end, you know, maybe with, like, 20 laps to go or something. You know, we take our tires... There are guys that wouldn't have tires left. I know, like, Cabe had some tires. Ryan had some tires. A couple people didn't, though. I don't think Nick had tires. I'm not sure about other guys. But, uh... We could have, uh, had a really interesting finish if that worked out for us. At this point, I wish I had taken the last set of tires when we had the chance, but no way to know for sure when you're gonna need to use them, so... That's totally okay. It's not like we uh, fell off super hard. We're able to battle and hold on, scratch and claw our way to a P7. So definitely we'll take it. Look at that too, Nick. Nick's dad, Alan. Alan with a top 10. That's awesome. Nice job to him. That's an excellent finish. And Steven as well gets himself a P9. We're surrounded by Nick's <laughs> right in the middle. It was a really good race. It really stinks we had some guys uh, get caught in wrecks. I know Gavin got wrecked out. Tyler had something happen to him. Might have gotten damage from something. We'll see. go ahead and start taking a look now, see what happened out here. It might take a while, but there's plenty to see and plenty of uh, notable incidents, I think, that we're going to want to take a look at. So we'll we'll be thorough, even though, even though it might take a little while. So right off the start... Matthias Lincoln just a bit. Might have to skip through his a little bit. Tyler. Oh no! That's what happened. I had no idea. That happened right behind me and I had no idea. I knew something must have happened to Tyler. He just got loose. It snapped on him there and he tried to catch it and Ryan just, uh, I think he thought he was going to spin to the inside. So he didn't quite check out for him and then when he kind of ended up in the same spot that's just really unfortunate. Only two guys with damage there. There's that turn two wall sneaking up. It does that here, man, at Richmond. That's what I was kind of... I said that in the chat before the race, like, that turn two wall will sneak up on you if you're on the outside too wide. Here, it's going to happen again, right now. Whoa. Alex really had to get out of it to avoid the wall. You just get, you end up on that outside groove. It's bad news. Jim spins it, slow spin. He's the only one with uh, any significant damage from that, though, I think. That's kind of a small miracle, because it looked like that was going to be real bad. Oh, no! Oh, no! They all keep it going straight. That's crazy. Everyone did a pretty nice job, like, slowing down and being careful with that. Matthias ends up in the track again. I think 18 probably got some big damage. That is Gregory. Not much he can do about that, though. Because he kind of comes up the track out of nowhere. 
and he didn't have control over it. Smithy spins it on exit. Looks like he tries to get it down into the grass. I don't know if it brought out a caution or not. I think it might have. I believe it did. It looked like he tried to get it down there. Then uh, lap 77, the Gavin lap, I guess. Nothing happening there, though. James getting loose. Cracks it back into the field. Spinning right in the middle of everything. No one hits him, though. Some very scary moments here that thankfully weren't worse. No reason to see that. Some guys running alone. Happened to Gavin. Oh no, the 28 got loose on the straightaway. Curved straightaway, that can happen. Just gets a little loose and Gavin was right there. That stinks and just hooks him right into the wall and that's some major damage. And that's, uh, that's probably the end of Gavin's race. I think he might have stayed out a little bit longer, but his truck's probably in real bad shape from that. Oh boy, that's gonna be bad. Yeah, that was real, that was... <laughs> I could see that forming and I'm like, oh man. So, Alex just goes in a little bit too high, maybe a little too hard, and it's not getting any grip out there. And then you, it's that same thing. You get up a, a groove out of two, and there's just no turn. And then we've got the two wide racing right here, and it just all comes together in the worst way. And they just kind of get stuck on each other right there. What a nice battle back for Steven to get a P9 after being in that accident. That's some uh, resilience. Waiting to uh, let everyone through. Moving right along. This isn't too bad. We're already about halfway through the race. And uh, most of the wrecks happened in the first half, I think. Oh! Oh, no! So it looks like Alan got a little bit loose on brake braking. Just driving in there pretty hard. And uh, kind of slides it, and James was there to catch him. I'm, I'm impressed he was able to keep that moving straight, but uh, maybe James a little less impressed. He gets hooked right into the wall, and that just destroys him. Very unfortunate. Very bad luck. And uh, we're green again, it looks like. Some wall hit happening. Moving along. Here's some people approaching. Anything gonna happen here or no? No, nothing. Three wide. Oh boy. Oh they almost held it together. That's the one that was right in front of us. So looking at this, you had guys fighting hard. These are lead lap guys, and then you just had the lap car coming up, and they just catch him in the worst possible spot. It's uh, turn two, it gets really narrow right there. And uh, they're three wide here, and uh, 76 is a little too far off the wall, but it's hard not to be here unless you want to hit the wall. And uh, they clip each other, and it looks like it's going to be okay, but while he's gathering it up, just barely tips into the 26. And uh, thankfully, I'm able to go to the inside. Oh, that's what happened to... I didn't notice it was Johnny that got into it. That's really, really unfortunate. He was having a great run. We're able to uh, just avoid it. You notice I'm way down here because I see things are happening. You know, normally I would be up there running my normal line. But I'm seeing things happening and I'm like, I want to be down here. <laughs> I want to be down here where the fireworks are not going off and then I see him go sideways and I'm like all right we're gonna come all the way over here and caution's gonna come out and we'll be fine hopefully we were able to avoid being in that one whoa close call there 
Moving along, some wall hits. Me being the absolute biggest pain to Nick King up there. <laughs> I'm glad he's a good sport about it, because I am well aware I was very annoying. Oh, Rick, getting loose. In front stretch. That must have been why he was slow down there. I didn't see any of that. Or no, that's not when we passed him, was it? I remember there was a time we passed him, and I felt like he was like really slow down on the apron down there or something, but I assume that's when that was, but I guess it wasn't. And uh, that's after the race is over. And just kind of letting it break loose. Probably happy with a nice top five. I would be. That's a nice run. And Dylan gets the win in his delicious dessert Reese's Klondike truck. <laughs> so... That will do it for this one. I'm happy. I'm happy with a P7. I'll take it. Solid finish. And uh, we will head into the playoffs as a playoff driver. And uh, we'll look here in a moment at uh, the official results page. And then we'll take a look at the regular season standings. I wonder if maybe Dylan passed me with a win right there. There's a non-zero chance that happened. And... Uh, here we are, the race results page. Make sure I get a good look at that. Dylan with the win and the fastest lap. He had himself an excellent race, led the most laps. Nick, two seconds behind. Great run for him as well to finish off the regular season. Here are our results back here. 30 points. Taking a look through the rest of the field. Gavin down here. Wrecked out, unfortunately, as we saw. And there's that. So now, try to navigate to the league real quick. This is going to be before the stage points are added. So it's not going to be a complete picture of what we've got going on, but should get an idea of where we are and uh it should give me an idea if i'm actually still the regular season point leader finish off the regular season i might not be uh, i'm not sure if you can see this yet no not yet there we go i might not be the regular season champion because even though we're two points ahead right now i'm pretty sure dylan had better stages he might have passed me that would be unfortunate that I lose the regular season point standings lead on the last day of the regular season. But, I mean, he's earned it. He's definitely earned it. He's got two wins now, so this was not his first win. He got one before as well. And uh, we have zero, so hard to win the regular season point standings with zero wins. But we we put a good run on it. And maybe we still got it. I'm not sure. I uh, I think he probably finished ahead of us most of the stages and probably enough to pass me. I don't know. That'll be interesting to see. But those are the results there. And uh, that'll be the end of this video. So thank you for watching. We'll get started next time in the Truck NIS series. And uh, with uh, the first round of the playoffs. Hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.